around mid-afternoon after we had roamed for hours in the desert. Don Juan chose a place to rest in a shaded area. As soon as we sat down, he began talking. He said, I learned a great deal about hunting, but I had not changed as much as he had wished. A hunter must live as a hunter in order to draw the most out of his life. Unfortunately, changes are difficult and happen very slowly. Sometimes it takes years for a man to become convinced of the need to change. It took me years, but maybe I didn't have a knack for hunting. I think for me the most difficult thing was to really want to change. I assured him that I understood his point. In fact, since he had begun to teach me how to hunt, I also began to reassess my actions. Perhaps the most dramatic discovery for me was that I liked Don Juan's ways. I liked Don Juan as a person. There was something very solid about his behavior. The way he conducted himself left no doubts about his mastery. And yet, he never exercised his advantage to demand anything from me. His interest in changing my way of life, I felt, was akin to an impersonal suggestion. Or perhaps it was akin to an authoritative commentary on my failures. He had made me very aware of my failings, yet I could not see how his ways would remedy anything in me. I sincerely believe that, in light of what I wanted to do in my life, his ways would have only brought me misery and hardship. However, I learned to respect his mastery, which had always been expressed in terms of beauty and precision. I have decided to shift my tactics. I asked him to explain. His statement was vague, and I was not sure whether or not he was referring to me. A good hunter changes his ways as often as he needs. You know that yourself. What do you have in mind, Don Juan? A hunter must not only know about the habits of his prey, he must also know there are powers on this earth that guide men and animals and everything that is living. He stopped talking. I waited, but he seemed to have come to the end of what he was going to say. What kind of powers are you talking about? I asked after a long pause. Powers that guide our lives and our deaths. You won't be able to stop yourself easily. I know that you're stubborn, but that doesn't matter. The more stubborn you are, the better it will be when you finally succeed in changing yourself. I'm trying my best, I said. No, I disagree. You're not trying your best. You just say that because it sounds good to you. In fact, you've been saying the same thing about everything you do. You've been trying your best for years to no avail. Something must be done to remedy that. I felt compelled, as usual, to defend myself. Don Juan seemed to aim, as a rule, at my very weakest points. I remembered then that every time I attempted to defend myself against his criticisms, I ended up feeling like a fool and stopped myself in the midst of a long, explanatory speech. Don Juan examined me with curiosity and laughed. He said in a very kind tone he had already told me that all of us were fools, and I was not an exception. You always feel compelled to explain your acts, as if you are the only man on earth who's wrong. It's your old feeling of importance. You have too much of it. You also have too much personal history. On the other hand, you don't assume responsibility for your acts. You're not using your death as your advisor, and above all, you're too accessible. In other words, your life is as messy as it was before I met you. Again, I had a genuine surge of pride and wanted to argue that he was wrong. He gestured me to be quiet. One must assume responsibility for being in a weird world. We are in a weird world, you know. I nodded my head affirmatively. We're not talking about the same thing. For you, the world is weird, because if you're not bored with it, you're at odds with it. For me, the world is weird because it's stupendous, awesome, mysterious unfathomable. My interest has been to convince you that you must assume responsibility for being here, in this marvelous world, in this marvelous desert, in this marvelous time. I wanted to convince you you must learn to make every act count, since you're only going to be here for a very short while. In fact, too short for witnessing all the marvels of it.